Hello everyone. It's another beautiful blessed day today to always be in the presence of the Lord. If you're not doing anything right now, I would love for y'all for like 60 seconds. For 60 seconds of your present time to give Jesus the thanks, the praise, the glory, and all the honor right now. Shout out his holy name right now and let him know how thankful and how grateful, how honored, and how blessed you are to be in his presence, to always seek him, to always put your faith and your trust in him. No matter what the situation looks like, no matter what the circumstances look like, no matter how dark your tunnel looks like right now, there will be light at the end, but are you willing to trust Jesus? And if you're willing to trust him, you should always be willing to praise him. And to glorify him. No matter what. Because there's no God like our God. There's nobody can do what he can do. He's your help. He's your salvation. He's your refuge. He's the one that you can call on. He's the one that you can depend on. He's the one that you can put your faith and trust into each and every day. No matter what the situation looks like. You can always, you can always trust Jesus. Hallelujah. Glory. You can always trust Jesus. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. And today's text is coming from Psalms 126 verses 5 through 6. That's Psalms 126 verses 5 through 6. And today's lesson is your tears will bring you joy. Your tears will bring you joy. And I know some of y'all been tearing up for quite some time. Some of y'all crying right now. But in the midst of you crying, in the midst that you've been crying for, for quite some time, God has counted every last one of your tears. And every last one of your tears that you had shed on your bed sheets and on your pillowcases, Jesus has counted them. And your tears today, my brothers, your tears today, my sisters, is going to bring you joy. Get ready. Joy. It's headed your way. Amen? Amen. And before we get started, we always like to take the time out to give our Heavenly Father God all the thanks, all the praise, and all the glory. Oh, Heavenly Father God, this can't thank you enough for an awesome and beautiful, blessed day today. I can't thank you enough for everything that you have done and everything that you do in our life each and every day. I just can't thank you enough that you blessed us with another day of life, another day. Another day for us to seek you. Another day we can praise you. Another day that we can trust you even more. You even pump blood through our veins today. You even gave us our help and our strength today, God. We could have been somewhere else. But you gave us another chance. You gave us another opportunity, Jesus, to trust you even more. Hallelujah. I just can't thank you enough for everything that you have done, Jesus. That's why I'm always going to glorify you. That's why I'm always going to magnify your holy name. That's why I'm always going to continue to trust you. I'm always going to continue to call on you. I'm always going to continue to depend on you because I can't thank you enough, Jesus. I just can't thank you enough. That's why I'm always going to praise you. And then shout out your holy name in Jesus' name. I just can't thank you enough. I just can't thank you enough, Jesus. Hallelujah, I just can't thank you enough. In Jesus' name, amen. Amen. Glory. Glory to God. It is something about Jesus, my brothers and sisters. No matter what my situation looks like, my circumstances. Yes, I've been in tears. And I've still been hurt. And I'm still in pain. By the midst of that, I'm still giving him the glory. No matter what. I'm still giving him the praise. The honor and all the worthy. And I'm still continuing to put my faith and trust in him. I'm still letting them know I can't thank him enough. Even though I'm going through what I'm going through. Even though I'm facing what I'm facing. Even though my tongue is so dull. I'm still trusting Jesus. I am still trusting Jesus. I'm still giving him the glory each and every day. I'm still giving him the praise. Because he deserves all the praise. Because if it wasn't for him, I wouldn't even be here today. If it wasn't for him, I wouldn't be blessed with this opportunity. So that's why I'm going to give him the praise. That's why I'm going to give him the glory. And that's why I'm always going to let him know I can't thank him enough. I just can't thank him enough. Glory, glory, glory. He is so faithful. He's so awesome. I trust him. All the way down to the very end. 
I trust my Jesus. Glory. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. Now, my brothers and sisters, we're about to get into this word. I would love for y'all to turn y'all Bibles to Psalms 126, and we're going to read verses 5 through 6. That's Psalms 126, verses 5 through 6. And if you have your Bibles open and ready to receive it, shall I amen. Amen. Let's begin. Those who sow in tears will reap with songs of joy. He who goes out weeping, carrying seed to sow, will return with song of joy, carrying sheaves with him. Those who sow in tears. Look what David's saying. He said, those, you know who those are, who sow in tears. He said, will not may reap, not may be. He said, but will reap with songs of joy. And you know who you are. Some of y'all have been sown in tears for months, for days, for years. But David is letting you know that you will reap with songs of joy. Every pain that you've been going through right now. Every setback that you've been going through right now. Every disappointment that you've been facing right now. Every letdown that you've been going through right now has led you to tears. And some of y'all tears cry in the morning. Some of y'all cry in the afternoon. Most of y'all cry in the midnight hour. Most of y'all right now probably crying right now. Wonder why you still going through what you're going through. Why you still facing difficulties right now? Why you still facing setbacks right now? Why you still facing letdowns right now? Why you some of y'all still blaming part blaming God right now? Why God haven't answered your prayers right now? Why your situation still look the same right now? Why everything looks so dark and gloomy to you right now? But David is saying right now, those who sow in tears will reap with joy. My brothers, my sisters, Jesus has counted every last tear. That you have shed it on your shirt, on your bed sheet, and on your pillowcase. He has counted every last one of your tears from the right eye through the left eye. And every tear that you have shed it. Mm, because you've been sowing with tears. Right now, my brothers and sisters, you will reap with joy. Joy is just around the corner. Joy have your name on it. Joy is calling your name right now. So right now you need to get ready because joy is coming to you faster and quicker and sooner than you realize right, right now. My brothers, my sisters your tears will bring joy to you. <coughs> I don't know who I'm talking to right now today. <coughs> Excuse me. But I'm talking to somebody right now. Your tears is going to bring you joy right now today. And, and I know this message is meant for somebody right now because I'm not the only one who's going through this. I know there's somebody else going through it as well. You have shed it, some tears. Regardless if you want to admit to or not, I'm not, a, I'm not afraid to let you know. Yes, I have shed it, some tears. I'm still shedding tears. But what, Paul, what David is telling me right now he said, LT said, when you, when you sow tears, you're going to reap with songs of joy. And I've been shedding tears for a while. I've been shedding tears for some years. But I know joy is coming. I know joy has my name on it. Yes, I've been going through some letdowns. Yes, I've been going through some setbacks. Yes, I've been facing some difficulties. And all that, I have shed a lot of tears. I have shed a lot of tears because of the pain I've been facing. I have shed a lot of tears because of all the letdown. I have shed a lot of tears because of all the difficulties. I have shed a lot of tears for all the disappointment. But I know joy is coming to me. I know joy is chasing me down. I know joy has my name on it. Now, who else I'm talking to today? I'm talking to somebody right now today. Somebody's been crying like Minister LT been crying. Somebody's been shedding a lot of tears like Minister LT been shedding tears. We only shed the tears on our clothes. We have shed the tears on our bed sheets. We have shed the tears on our pillowcases. We even have shed the tears on our husband and our wife and on our children. We have shed the tears at the job. We have shed the tears at the grocery store. We have shed the tears at the gym. We have shed the tears on our free time. We have tears. 
we have cried because the pain, the setback, the difficulties, the letdowns of what we have been going through and what we've been facing. But in the midst of all them that cry, the midst of all them tears, we still glorify him. We're still praising him. We still shutting out his holy name and we still saying glory each and every day in the midst of all of that. Amen. Amen. The, the last part. It said, we'll return with songs and joy, carrying sheaves with him. What is sheaves? Sheaves mean you're going to be carrying a bundle of joy. Sheaves mean you're going to be carrying a cluster of joy with you. That would say carrying sheaves with him. You're going to be carrying bundles with you. You're going to be carrying a cluster with you. Because right now when joy comes, I'm going to be carrying a cluster with me. I'm going to be carrying a bundle with me. And that cluster and that bundle is going to be a cluster and a bundle of joy. Because all the tears that I shed will, will bring me joy. And it's going to bring you joy today, my brothers. And it's going to bring you joy today, my sisters. So all that pain that you had went through, all them setbacks that you had went through, all those letdowns you had went through, all the disappointment that you had went through, all that dark and gloomy day that you had went through, it's going to bring you joy. Now you need to tell yourself, say, joy is coming to me. Say, joy have my name on it. Joy is just around the corner. Joy is chasing me down. Joy, joy, joy is here for me. Your tears is bringing you joy today, my brothers. Your tears is bringing you joy today, my sisters. Are you ready for joy? Right now, you need to be jumping up and down in your house or in your car or wherever you is right now. If you're watching this video right now and if you're on tune right now, joy it's coming for you right now. Joy, have your name on it. Every tear that you have faced and went through is going to bring you joy. Look at all the pain that you have faced. Look at all the setbacks that you went through. All the letdowns. All the difficulties. All the pain. All the dog storms. All the, the letdowns. You better have a cluster of sheaves with you. A bundle of sheaves with you. And that cluster and bundle is going to be a cluster and bundle of joy. Because every tear that you have shed is going to bring you joy today. My sister and my brother. I believe that right now. I declare it right now in the mighty name of Jesus. Joy is coming. That's why I'm screaming joy. And I'm screaming victory because I know it's going to happen. Because the word of God says so. When you sow tears, it's going to bring you joy. And the word of God don't lie. You have sowed tears. You had sold tears way too long today, my brothers. You had sold tears way too long today, my sisters. And those tears that you have sold, those tears that you had shed, it's going to bring you joy. It's going to bring you happiness. It's going to bring you laughter. It's going to bring you incitement. And it's coming right now. Joy is coming for you right now. And if this word and this message right now is helpful to you right now today. And if this word is meant for you today right now, say joy. Say scream out joy right now. Say joy. Have my name on it. Joy is chasing me down. Joy. Have my name on it. I'm receiving joy right now in the mighty name of Jesus. Joy. For all the tears I went through. Joy. For all the pain, joy for all the letdown, joy for all the um the, the setbacks, joy for all the difficulties, joy because the storm I was in, I'm receiving joy. You're receiving joy today, my sisters. You are receiving joy today, my brothers. Joy. What you will have. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Before I close, I would like to end with a prayer. Can you please pray with me? Lord Jesus, I ask of you to come into my life, to take over, to guide me, direct me, use me, so I can build a relationship with you. And I believe right now, in the mighty name of Jesus, by y'all praying a simple little prayer, that God is already working everything out in your life right now. And if you ever want to get in contact with me or leave me a comment, my YouTube channel is Withers. AFT. This is Minister AFT. I love y'all. Y'all stay blessed. Just remember, my brothers and sisters, every tear that you have sold is going to bring you joy. 
your tears will bring you joy. Your tears that you have sowed, and some of y'all been sowing tears for a long time, is going to bring you joy. Because the word of God said it will bring you joy. He didn't say it might bring you joy. He didn't say he had to think about bringing you joy. He didn't say it may be bring you joy. He said it will bring you joy. Joy is going to coming at your front door right now. Joy is in your mailbox right now. Joy is in your heart right now. Joy is in your spirit right now. Joy is coming for you right now today. Do you receive it today? And if you receive joy today, Shout out hallelujah today. Shout out glory right now. Because joy has your name on it. It's me and Sam T. I love y'all. Y'all stay blessed. In Jesus' name. Amen. Glory. Joy is coming for you today. Amen.